But Aldrin admits the moon landing was oh, what fake. What was the scariest moment of the journey? Scariest. It didn't happen. It could have been scary. Certainly. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Well, let's talk about this, because this is fascinating. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does, I remember my parents waking me up, and we went down, and we watched you guys land on the moon. No, which you was, didn't. No, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. You watched animation. You watched animation. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and, and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave the Earth. There's no place to go. Pan tam był. Czy Ziemia rzeczywiście jest kulą zawieszoną w kosmosie? Jest płaska. Tak jak oczekują oni. Nie spodziewałem się co prawda tego pytania, ale zapewniam pana, że jest płaska. Generał Mirosław Hermaszewski, jak dotąd Pierwszy i ostatni Polak, który odbył lot orbitalny. Dziękuję serdecznie za rozmowę. Dzięki. Dziękuję, dokładnie. The iron anvil floats because mercury has a density nearly twice that of iron. In fact, uh, due to the density ratios, the iron actually floats better than wood does in water. Push under. Let's push it down. Oh, it's hard to push down. <laughs> oh, that, that's great. Here, let's try it again from the other side. Okay, here we go. Push down. It bobs up like a cork. Why are you sitting in your chair today? Does gravity pull you to the floor? No, there is no such thing as gravitational pull. We lied to you. Imagine we live on a flat fucking world. All, all this time we thought we lived on a round planet, huh? 
We have no fucking evidence to believe that we're around planet only but people telling us. But we really don't know who Eleven. We are, where we came from, who the fuck is I'm our not, purpose here. I'm huh? not. Hey, look at there! Only prove beyond all reasonable doubt. Did you see that? The official NASA images of lunar exploration are fake. They chucked that thing out of a plane, dude, and said it came back from outer space. Look. In this film, we shall not only prove beyond all reasonable doubt that many of They're the fucking busted. images of lunar exploration are fake, but we shall... So my question is, how can you operate a lid on the outside of the space station by manipulating something mechanical on the inside of the space station without losing air pressure? It's, it's called real good engineering.
This is a time lapse of a horizon throughout one day. Look at it, changing. The Earth is not changing size. That is just an optical limit based on how our eyes work or any optics work, and it changes with atmospheric conditions. So the whole boat over the horizon thing, yeah, if the Earth was a ball, the boat would disappear at three miles every single time a six-foot observer looked out at it, and it doesn't. I've seen I've seen boat boats from 30 miles away. Then I pull my infrared out, and I can see it from 35 miles away. I can zoom in with infrared and bring the bottom of the boat back. Okay, so if you use the same optics, the bottom will normally come back because you've reached the resolution limit based on Rayleigh's criteria and the propagation and reception angles. It's purely optics, provably right here. It's showing you the horizon is just optical. So there is no evidence that the Earth is a ball because boats disappear from the bottom up. In fact, what it shows is the opposite. So I will stop there. I know, I know we have still not shattered that highest and hardest glass ceiling, but someday someone will, and hopefully sooner than we might think right now. never able to see stars from the lunar surface or on the daylight side of the moon by eye without looking through the optics. Uh, I don't recall during the period of time that we were photographing the Sona Perla what, uh, what stars we could see. I don't remember seeing any. You can see the stars. Oh yeah. And, yeah. You know, and uh, pretty much all the time you can see yeah. the stars. I don't remember seeing any. G. Andrew Tate on Flat Earth. You guys keep calling me Globetard, so it seems like. <laughs> the Earth is flat. I follow all the flat Earth angles. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, it's not flat. You're a Globetard. You're a Globetard. You think this isn't flat? It's not. Is the world round? Yes, it's a globe. <laughs> Globetard. <laughs> Alright, so how's it flat then? Prove to me it's flat. <laughs> Look outside. I, I see the curve. He does these shit. I do. I see the curve. Tell, tell him more proof. That the world's flat. More proof. Did you know that not once in the history of space travel ever has any astronaut panned his camera around 360 degrees? Not once. Why don't they? What do you mean? It's all fake. Studios. All manipulated images. Studios, yeah. images. Yeah. You're a globe dart. This is something that has never been asked of balloons before to be reliable. So the first thing we did was took a router, flew it on a weather balloon up to 10 kilometers and see if you could still get a signal. We are just like a cell phone tower, but in the sky. Another way to think about it is, if you drive down the highway on a phone call, you will switch between cell towers. And as one balloon goes overhead, another balloon comes in range, and you're switching between one balloon to another. The balloons today can cover 5,000 square kilometers on the ground. You can get 15 megabits per second to your phone. 